Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I have the Valiant sitting here and have a chain on it, about to pull the engine out. Since the last video, went ahead and unbolted everything except for two bell housing bolts are left. Motor mounts are loose, flex plates loose, everything's loose. So about to snatch that out. Went ahead and jacked it up and put it on these ramps. That way I had plenty of room underneath the car without having jack stands in the way. And then over here, I went ahead on the new engine, I went ahead and put the timing cover from the old engine on, so I popped that off. Still need to take the oil pan and put it on the other engine. So I think that's about it. I'm gonna put the oil pan and then the flex plate on and that engine should be ready to go in. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the engine hoist out and get this engine out. Went ahead and took the oil pan off here and there is some more material in the pan. I didn't really expect that. I thought the top of the piston was all we had, but big piece there. And then we've got these little pieces here. Another decent sized piece there. So definitely gonna be interesting to get this engine apart and see what all's going on in there. I guess the, maybe the piston skirt is damaged but uh we'll find out later i need to get this cleaned up i need to get the pickup and the oil pump onto the new engine so pickup oil pump and oil pan all need to go on the new engine but i need to clean this up first all right so oil pans on oil pickup is on and i went ahead and put a oil pressure gauge here i poured three quarts of oil in it and then we didn't have the break-in oil so I bought this zinc additive from Lucas threw that in there and it's a four quart oil pan so it should have enough to build pressure so I'm gonna hook the drill up see if we can build some oil pressure we have all the lifters in rockers are on uh oh uh oh oh no oil filter Nope. <laughs> Fail. Fail. Oh boy. All right. Kill gamer. All right. So, put the oil filter on. Forgot that for whatever reason. Me and Gabriel out here talking. But anyway, let's build some pressure. Obviously, it made some because we just spewed it on the floor. I'm on. There we go. Yep. There we yep. go. There we go. Now I'm gonna try to get them up here. To the lifters and all. Let's see if it starts coming up. Yep, you see it coming up on my side. Well, then you can see that one's starting to go. My drill battery just died. Yep. So we're getting oil. We're getting it. <clears throat> Little mess. Let's try to get a little more. Yeah, that one's making it. That one's making it. That one. That one. That one. That one's not built going yet. That one's not. Went ahead and turned the engine over. Probably a quarter turn. Actually, no, about half a turn. And that way I had some lifters that weren't lining up with the oil holes. So got those lined up and now you can see I'm getting oil to all my rockers here. Same on this side. And then I'm just gonna get the engine back on top dead center so I can drop the uh, distributor in. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and put on the valve covers and the intake manifold. Then we'll be almost ready to put the engine in. Gotta put the flex plate on. And once it comes off this engine stand, I got to put them two freeze plugs in. That'll be ready to go. Engine mounts are on, intake manifolds torqued, flex plates torqued. 
I turned the fan down to get this air. And I went ahead and got these two freeze plugs in. That should be it. I think we're, yeah, we're about ready. It's a little wobbly. It's fine. <laughs> a little wobbly. All right, let's do it. Got the engine in. And where we're at right now, we have the bell housing bolts in and most of them are tight. We got one over there that uh, just hadn't got to yet. Everything fit good. Need to tighten up the motor mounts and then we can start going back together with everything else. But um, yeah, it's about 5.30. I have to go out of town for the week. So we're gonna wrap it up here. Also something I found Earlier I showed you the metal in the oil pan. So found that. And as you can see at the top, just like before, we have that burn spot. And I'm gonna roll it over. I say I'm gonna roll it over. Just do it. So now on the bottom, we have number five cylinder right here, and you can see the skirt broke off. And the skirt is broke off on the opposite side of the top of the piston that's damaged. So come back around here, you can see the holes there, and then the piston's cracked there, which leads me to believe that pre-ignition on the opposite side of the cylinder caused that piston to twist in the bore and break that skirt off. So. Just a thought right now, I'm gonna take it apart later, but um, gotta clean up the garage. Made some good progress, and once I get back from my trip, then just start going back together with it, and think we're gonna have a pretty good setup. So, we're gonna get tidied up in here. Got a lot. This is gonna help us clean up, getting one of the motors put up, and uh, getting the engine stand put back up. But anyways, that's gonna do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. And we're getting this thing back together slowly but surely. So, see you guys next time.